Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video we are going to play a really fun but really weird game uh, called the banana game. So why are we going to play this game? Well, I think it's a great way to teach you about intonation and why it's so important in English. Okay, so first of all, what is intonation? Well, intonation is the music of English. So we use intonation um, in our voices by letting our voices go up or rise or go down and fall. Now by letting our voices rise or go down, what does that do? It gives meaning to what we're saying. Okay, so uh, in English, what you say is, is meaningful. Um, the words you use give meaning, but the way you say it or how you say something also gives meaning. And so for a lot of people learning English, they use the right words, but they might not know how to use the correct intonation. And it's actually really important because intonation really helps people understand you better. So let's get started by letting me explain what this game's about. Um, okay, so the banana game. This is a game that I learned from my friend Melinda, who's also a teacher. So I just wanted to thank her for inspiring this video. The banana game is a very strange game. And the reason why I like this game is because it's a strange game and things that are strange help you remember things better. Okay, so whenever something is strange, you usually remember it. As well, this game will really allow you to focus only on intonation. So you're not focusing on words, you're not focusing on other things, you're only going to be focused on intonation. So this game's great for teaching this. So how do you play? Well, you just need one word, and that word is banana, okay? So in this game, the only word you are allowed to say, or I am allowed to say, is the word banana. Uh, now we're going to say banana in different ways, with different intonation. So sometimes maybe the word banana will rise, sometimes it will fall, and this is gonna give the word a lot of different meanings. Um, so we're gonna give the word banana meaning using intonation. Now, before we start playing this game, I just wanted to tell you that this is a very strange game, but I promise I am not crazy. What you are going to see might seem a little crazy because I'm gonna say banana a lot, but I promise I am not crazy. <laughs> okay, so now let's start playing. Okay, so before we start, I just wanna remind you about the difference in intonation with yes, no questions and WH questions or all other question types. So for yes, no questions, these are questions that usually begin with the words like is, are, can, does, did. And the answer the person who's asking is expecting is either a yes or a no. These are yes, no questions. In English, the intonation for a yes, no question is a rise at the end, so it goes up. So if my word banana was a yes, no question, it would sound like banana, notice the rise at the end, banana, <laughs> okay. So that would be an example of a yes, no question. WH questions are questions that have the words who, what, where, when, why, and how in them. We also have other question types. Now for these WH questions or other question types, they're different in intonation than yes, no questions. Because for these types of questions, you'll notice a fall at the end when we're talking about intonation. So if I was using banana and we're pretending banana is one of these questions, I'd say banana, banana. So banana, banana. Notice the difference. Okay, so now 
you are going to listen and you're going to listen to my intonation of the word banana. And you're going to tell me, am I asking you a yes, no question? Or am I asking you a different type of question? Okay, so listen very carefully. Are you ready? Okay. Banana, banana, banana. What do you think? Banana, banana, banana. If you said it went up at the end, you're right. I just asked you a yes, no question without using those words. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. You hear that? Again, if you thought I was asking a yes, no question, you're correct. Let's try again. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Okay, so what kind of question do you think I was asking you? You might have noticed it went down at the end. So yeah, I'm asking one of these types of questions. So now I want you to try it, okay? If you're with other people, you might feel um, like you don't want to look crazy. So you might want to practice this at home, uh, maybe when you're in the bathroom or something. You can say banana in different ways to practice saying a yes, no question where it goes up or a different type of question where it goes down. So let's look at other ways we can uh, change the meaning of something using our intonation. So we also use intonation when we're making a statement. So what is a statement? Well, it's a sentence that's not a question where you're saying some sort of fact or just giving information. So for example, I like pizza. This is a statement. Notice I'm not saying I like pizza. No, I'm saying I like pizza. So at the end, my voice goes down. My intonation falls. Now, for most statements, uh, your voice is going to fall at the end. Unless you're emphasizing something or, um, you know, that's the main reason why a statement would not follow this pattern. But for most statements, intonation goes down, okay? So if I was using banana and I wanted to make a statement, I could say, Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana, banana. Notice it goes down. Another time I might use intonation is when I'm listing a lot of different things. So a list is when you're saying multiple things. Um, so for example, I like pizza, cake, fruit, and pie. So I listed four things in that sentence. So I would use intonation when I'm listing something. So intonation here is a little bit more tricky. And the reason is you have intonation going up for each item. So on pizza, it'd go up, for cake, up, for fruit, up, and on pie, it goes down. So think up, 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 down. The last thing is down when you're listing. So if I was using banana in this case, I'd say banana, 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 banana. Okay, so that's an example. So now I want you to listen. I'm gonna say banana and I want you to tell me, am I listing something or am I just making a statement? Okay, so listen carefully to my intonation. Banana, 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 banana. What do you think? In this case, you'll notice I went up, 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 and down. I was listing things. Let's do this again. Banana, 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 banana. Maybe my hand gave it away, but... Banana, 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 banana. What did you notice? Was I listing or was I making a statement? In this case, I was making a statement, okay? So this is fun because even if you don't understand what somebody is saying, you might not understand their words. You can still understand some of their meaning. 
Are they asking a type of question? Are they making a statement? Um, are they listing items? So intonation is very important. Now let's think about feelings and intonation and see how we can show our feelings by using the music of English. So we use intonation to show our feelings. Okay, so for those of you who like acting, this is gonna be a lot of fun for you. Because what I'm going to do is I have here some feelings and you're going to guess which feelings I'm using. But first let me show you how we use intonation to express these feelings. The first feeling is happy or excitement. So you'll notice intonation rises when we're trying to express happiness. Okay, so for example, with banana, 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 or let me think, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say banana happy, but banana, 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 banana. Okay, banana. So it kind of goes up. For sad, it falls. Banana, banana, banana. And I know my face is acting. Um, it's hard to do the tones without the facial expression, so I'm sorry if that's giving clues. Um, so again, sad, banana, banana. What about confused? Banana, banana, banana. So there's a rise. For annoyed or mad? Banana, banana, banana. Okay, notice there's more force and it's a fall. Banana. Okay, finally, surprise. It's a rise, like happy. Banana. Banana. <laughs> okay, so even me saying these words, it's, it's not really natural because I'm not used to saying banana in these different ways. Um, and maybe I'm not the best actress, but maybe you're better, which would be nice for when you play this game. So I want you to listen and try to guess maybe what feelings am I expressing, okay? Banana, 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 banana. So what do you think? You said sad, you're correct. Let's try another one. Banana, 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 banana. Banana, banana, banana. So this was either happy, maybe surprised. Let's do another one. Hmm. Banana, banana. So what do you think? In this one, I was trying to sound confused. All right, last one. Banana. Banana. So what do you think? This one I was trying to sound annoyed or angry. Okay, so it's a weird game, like I said, um, but by focusing on just the word banana, you can really focus on intonation because that's the only meaning you're getting. You're not getting any other meaning. So this is a fun game to practice. And then of course you want to start using this in real sentences and real words. But as a game and for practice intonation, this is a really fun way to do it. I recommend um, doing this with a friend. And what you can do is you can, you know, write a bunch of words on a card or on different cards. Somebody takes a card, they read the words. So for example, I might say happy. And then they have to, you know, make the sentence using the word banana. And then their partner guesses what they're trying to say using intonation as the clue. So the main point of this video was to show you that for English, English is more than words, okay? The music of English or the intonation of English really matters and it really tells a lot to your listener. So how you say something in English is so important. It can change the whole meaning of what you're trying to say. And it also um, can help people know what's expected of them. Uh, 
for their response or their answer, especially in questions. So I invite you to check out our website at www.ingvid.com and there you can find a quiz on the material covered in this lesson. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. There you can find all sorts of different information on pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, test preparation, and much more. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell or ring the bell uh, to make sure you get the latest notifications on any new videos coming up. So thank you for watching, Banana, and until next time, take care.